welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. There's Josh. Hi. And this is our director, Chad, hard at work. Hello. And today we are soldering battery connectors. We're soldering battery connectors, yeah. yes. And we're also going to show you guys how to solder and different techniques and, and the proper techniques of soldering and also what to do and what not to do. One thing to remember is never cut through both wires at one time with your cutters. Because it'll blow up. It'll blow up. Actually, it'll make a nasty spark, possibly dead short, and make your battery into an egg. And we do not want that. And it'll blow up. What Chad's gonna do here is he's gonna go ahead and uh, do one wire at a time. I prefer the ground wire uh, just because that's the way I've done it. Um, also, once you insulate it, you can't really touch anything else, cause any dead shorts or anything. So it's a matter of preference, matter of safety. Um, just you make know, sure you get, don't cut through both of them at the same time. We got one cut and we're still here. I'm happy. That's all I need to know. Good thing. And there we have it. Just add a little flux to the wire. Um, basically, when you put flux, the second you heat that up and, and put solder to it, the solder is going to instantly flow to where the flux is. Just make sure when you're done with it that you wipe off any extra flux uh, that's around the connection because it can be corrosive. It's basically a mild acid. Uh, Chad's using a 40 watt. That's really good for heavy uh, wire leads like what you see here. But what you don't want to do is use a 40 watt, something like a servo extension wire or something like that. You'll melt the insulation really, really quick. It's always important after you cut your leads and stuff and you have those stubs there, go ahead and slide your heat shrink tube on. And uh, basically that will get you ready to insulate those pieces after they're soldered. Make sure you get both, uh, both parts of it hot enough to accept the solder. If one part's still cold, it may hold for a little while, but you'll have a cold solder joint and that will cause it to eventually uh, crack. And one thing you don't want to do is uh, lose power on an electric airplane while you're flying. That's not so a good crash thing. and burn. Insulate that, that way you don't accidentally bump them together and <laughs> cause a short. There's a cowbell here. Put that down, Josh. Now a hair dryer is a funny thing to see here on the workbench, but... That's actually heat gun, Josh. Same thing. It's just a really, really hot hair dryer. Yeah. If you don't trust your joint, do it again. So you have peace of mind whenever you use that battery. Also, these batteries are gonna be getting bent around a lot, so you wanna make sure you have a well-soldered joint because as that battery goes through its life, uh, that joint's gonna greatly be tested. Theoretically, if you keep bending that wire, the wire should break on both sides of your solder joint, not at the joint itself if you do it right. While Chad's wrapping this up, I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview. Just a couple things to remember. Uh, never cut through both uh, leads at one time. That'll cause a, a real nasty spark. Always uh, make sure you tin both ends. And uh, flux and rosin core used together are a really great combination to give you really good secure solid joints. And speaking of joints, always make sure that you heat up both of your uh, your contacts to accept the solder. One contact to the other will not do it. It'll give you cold solder joints, eventually gonna fail. Uh, always put your insulation on before you make your solder joints, um, such as your heat shrink tubing, to uh, ensure that you can uh, cover it afterwards, otherwise you'll be resoldering it. And uh, basically, if you don't trust your joint, redo it. Okay, all done. There we have it. Oh, well, it's great. It does. And I wanna thank Hobby King for sponsoring this program. Hopefully all you guys can have a good experience now soldering your batteries. No failures in the air. And uh, speaking of in the air, the only way to really test is to put it in the air. All right, let's, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. I'm with you guys right there. Okay. Now that we're alone, let's solder what we can solder. Oh, Josh. Oh. 